Hello, everybody. My name is Bob Trezais. I'm president and CEO of LEAP, Lansing Economic Area Partnership. We work on economic development issues and projects for Greater Lansing, Michigan, Global Lansing, which is Ingham, Eaton, and Clinton County. You're listening and watching to another version of LEAP Weekly, where we talk about economic development projects and ideas that are going on. Well, it's the dog days of August, but our engine never stops. We've had a number of enormous and really great announcements that I'll go through in a second here. Um, as usual, I always encourage you to uh, scroll down and to check out all of the clips from the last few weeks from all the economic development projects. If you've been on vacation, hopefully you have, like I was the last couple weeks, uh, this is a good way for you to get caught up from some news that maybe you missed while you're gone on vacation. So go ahead, scroll on down, and you'll get a, a competitive advantage by checking out all of the news in a one-stop shop sort of way. Uh, here is part of our weekly um, video clip. I also want to mention, um, go to our website, purelancing.com. PureLancing.com. We just uh, made it hot again with some new features to it. It's a really phenomenal website. It's designed for economic development uh, site selectors and uh, those who are looking for different kinds of business assistance. It's a very, very good website. Represents our entire region very well. And I urge you to take a look at it. And along those lines, what you're going to see at the very top is Leap's logo. As we are approaching our 10th year anniversary from the day one, our uh, branding or our tagline, if you will, has been, guess what? Stronger together. And you may be seeing that a lot. Uh, you are seeing that a lot with Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. That is now their tagline as well. And a couple people have called me about it. And so the story about that is that we did look at... Um, of uh, you know securing that for LEAP a number of years ago, but we couldn't because it's, it's broadly used by a number of organizations and institutions. So we couldn't own it, nobody owns it. But what the heck, if Hillary Clinton's using it and tons of people are Googling Stronger Together, we're working on ways to uh, redirect some of those folks who are searching that phrase right here to our LEAP website. So they'll have to uh, check out our economic development news. So um, hey, that's the way we're dealing with it. So good for everybody. I uh, just want to remind everybody that this weekend is Jazz Fest in downtown Old Town, Friday night and all day Saturday, Saturday night. As usual, we want to congratulate and thank Micah and uh, Terry Terry and his team for putting together what is one of the very top festivals in the state for top-notch jazz uh, music and fun and friendship uh, right in the heart of Old Town. The weather is going to be phenomenal, so make sure to come on down and join everybody in Old Town this weekend for Micah's Jazz Fest. There's been some really good announcements. On Thursday of this week, uh, Tenneco, which is a, a $8.2 billion auto supplier uh, globally, has um, plants in the U.S., in Germany, and China, has uh, decided to locate uh, and selected us to locate uh, a new supplier plant here. And it's going to be a 70,000 square foot facility. It's located on the north side of the city of Lansing, right on Grand River near the uh, International Airport. Uh, they're starting out with a dozen or plus employees, but they'll be ramping up to over 150 over the next couple of years. So we want to say thank you to Tenneco for selecting and choosing our global environment to supply General Motors uh, car assembly plants. Um, with their product and thank you Tenneco very much for selecting us. This goes along with our big announcement or grand opening for Kirchhoff Van Rob, a huge auto supplier as well from Germany uh, which has started out with 160 employees. We'll be adding 50 more so we've added two more auto suppliers just in the last uh, 60 days. One opening and one landing here. I also want to mention the Hope, or so Hope Soccer Complex, which, once again, Julie Mullen. Uh, boy, do I admire the Mullins. Just as a reminder, this was a, uh, a, a soccer park, Hope Soccer Complex, which was basically going to be closed a couple years ago. Uh, Leap came forward, worked with Mayor Benero in the city of Lansing, and we put together the Mullins as private developers to lease the park and invest their money, open it back up, and make it a Midwest-wide uh, attraction for not only soccer, 
soccer, but lacrosse and football and lots of other activities. They put in a restaurant which has great food, uh, it serves beer and wine and alcohol, um, and it has become a real magnet for the entire Midwest. And I'll tell you, it's really had an impact on all of our hotels around the entire area. I want to congratulate Eastwood Town Center, uh, the Heights there, um, which has added and announced this week the Holiday Inn is going to go in there with 140 plus rooms. Um, and this is interesting. We now, according to the Greater Lansing Convention Visitors Bureau, are at just about 64% average occupancy um, of all of our health hotels around the region, which is beyond record setting for our region. So there's definitely an increase, um, and in part is due to uh, this amazing um, Hope Soccer Complex, which has went from zero a couple years ago to now attracting uh, over 100 events from uh, around the state in Midwest, drawing 200,000 people last year. And this is the good kind of economic development. People are staying multiple nights. They come on a Thursday, stay Friday and Saturday night. They have hotel rooms, restaurants, primarily on the south side of Lansing. So the economic impact is profound. And now um, hopefully the city council is going to approve an extension of the lease, and it's going to allow the Mullins to invest uh, $17 million more dollars uh, through um, uh, in adding additional features into that park. It already has the lights and the new turf and multiple uh, uh, turfs working out there and new seating and, and so forth. So a great project. Thank you so much to the Mullins and hopefully to the city council for approving the extension of that lease very shortly here. I want to mention, too, I was driving down Michigan Avenue this week, and wow, have we ever finally climbed on the same path as Madison and Columbus, which are the two, our benchmarks for sure. Uh, why? Well, because those two cities were about the same size as Lansing 50 years ago. They're a capital city. They have a Big Ten University. They have Fortune 500 companies. You know who else does? Oh, yeah, Lansing, Michigan. And so uh, that corridor is so key, a backbone to our entire regional and global economic development efforts here. Congratulations. Thank you to Scott Gillespie. Uh, LEAP has packaged this project with the city of Lansing, and it's all underway. We've closed on the property. Uh, the buildings have been torn down. It's going to be amazing. Four-story, mixed-use building, and the project is underway. I also want to say thank you to Chris Elliott because he is bringing Arcadia uh, brew pub into the former PNC uh, bank building, which has been uh, empty for a number of years now. Kitty Corner from the Eastwood uh, East Town Flats um, project on Michigan Avenue gets Kitty Corner from that near the Green Door and near the Avenue on Michigan Avenue. Um, in addition to that, any day now we're going to start painting four beautiful murals on the US 127 bridge and putting neon LED lights and everything is going to look like uh, Miami or Atlanta. The bridge is finally rather than being a wall separating people. It's going to be an inviting environment um, connecting East Lansing and Lansing and Michigan State University and Lansing Township together. We put together all of the funding for that in partnership with the MEDC. Thank you to the MEDC in the Patronicity campaign to raise money and match us. And it's really going to be transformative. And then the Skyview building, amazing. I don't know how many people come up in amazement at how big that building is and how fast it's going up and the high quality nature of it. It's going to bring in about a thousand new residents into the city from day one. It's going to put new money into the city's general fund and all of the taxing entities of the region. And of course, all of those people will be in a walkable distance of what will be the Red Sea Renaissance Project and Frandor and other businesses along Michigan Avenue uh, as far as consumers with disposable income. So it's just going to be a phenomenal project. Again, continuing to build our corridor and connect and look a little bit, at least on the right path, look a little bit more like Madison um, and Columbus, which is definitely something that we can do and are doing. And finally, Sparrows Cancer Center. Wow, this is big, it's beautiful, it's um, up, it, it, it just looks phenomenal. Of course, the construction continues, but thank you to Dennis Swan and the board of directors of Sparrow. Uh, this is an amazing building. What a feature and a first class big city uh, building and how it's being designed and the way it looks and placed on Michigan Avenue. And uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't been by Sparrow recently, you will give a, a double or triple look and say, wow, uh, in Lansing, Michigan, that kind of building. So thank you to Sparrow. Amazing things going on on Michigan Avenue right now. And we're working on more. 
Finally, I want to say thank you to Gabriella Alum on our staff here at uh, the LEAP. And uh, Gabby has worked hard and working uh, on behalf of the city of Lansing as part of our contract with the city. Um, she's done amazing work. The East Town Flats project that I just mentioned on Michigan Avenue, she worked on. She was uh, a point person for us in the Southwest uh, City of Lansing grant and many other projects. Uh, Gabriella has taken a great, bigger job and offer from Michigan State University, the MSU Foundation, and will be running the uh, TIC uh, incubator um, for them uh, very shortly here. Her Gabby's last day will be this coming Wednesday. So if you know Gabby, give her a little call or email and thank her and congratulate her. Of course, we'll be hiring somebody to replace Gabby as well as Keith Lambert shortly. Hey, if you knew, know somebody who's super smart and really likes to work very hard in a very fast-paced environment, give us a little email here at purelancing.com. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next week.